Hello students. Our subject for today is Maths Chapter Number 5 Fractions. Children, in today's video we will learn Addition of like fractions, Subtraction of like fractions, Addition and subtraction of unlike fractions, a fraction of a collection and a multiple of a fraction. We will also learn about mixed fractions. So children, let's begin. Here, a strip is divided into seven equal parts. And the parts are colored with pink color and green color. Children, first we will write the fraction for green color. That is 3 upon 7. Two parts are colored with green color. So, 2 upon 7. Children, we want to find the total colored part. For that, we will do 3 upon 7 plus 2 upon 7. Children, here you all can see that the denominators are equal. So, we will 3 do 3 plus 2 upon 7. Here, denominator is common. Means, denominator is equal. So, this is the like fraction. So, we will do addition 3 plus 2, 5, 5 upon 7. Children, the total colored part is shown by the fraction 5 upon 7. Children, here your question is, add 3 upon 8 plus 1 upon 8. This is the like fraction because we are having the denominator common that is 8. So, we will do 3 plus 1. In denominator, we will write 8. We will write 8 only one time because 8 is common here. Now, 3 plus 1, 4. 4 upon 8. But children, 4 1s are 4 and 4 2s are 8. So the answer is 1 upon 2. The addition of 3 upon 8 plus 1 upon 8 is 1 upon 2. 1 upon 2 means half. We will move further and we will see the next question. Our next question is 5 upon 3 plus 4 upon 3. Denominator is equal? Yes, denominator is equal. That is 3. So, how many times we will write 3? We will write 3 only one time. 5 plus 4. And in denominator, we will write 3 because 3 is equal. This is the like fraction. 5 plus 4, 9 upon 3. Children, 9 is coming in the table of 3. So, we will do division. 3 ones are 3. 3 threes are 9. Final answer is 3 upon 1. Now, we will see one word problem. Here, our word problem is, Mother gave 3 upon 8 of 1 Gavava to Meena and 2 upon 8 of the Gavava to Gita. What part of the Gavava did she give them all together? Children, Mother given 3 upon 8 of 1 Gavava to Meena. And 2 upon 8 of the Gavava to Gita. Means we have to find the total value. 
what part of the gavava did she give them all together for this we will do addition 3 upon 8 plus 2 upon 8 you all can see that the denominator is equal so together we will write 3 upon 2 and in in denominator we will write 8 Three upon two, five. Three plus two, five upon eight. So, children, now we can write the final answer. Therefore, five upon eight part of the gavava. Did she give them all together? Okay, children. Now we will see subtraction of like fractions. Here, a strip is divided into one, two. Three, four, five, five equal parts, and four of them are colored. You all can see that the four parts are colored. Now we remove the color from one of the colored parts. Okay, I have removed color. So children, that is we subtract one upon five from four upon five because. The fraction of this is four upon five, but from this I removed one part, so one upon five. Children, to find the difference, we will subtract four upon five minus one upon five. Four minus one upon five is equal to. Three upon five. Children, when subtracting a fraction from another like fraction, we write the difference between the numerators in the numerator and the denominators in the denominator. You all can see that I have written four and one in numerator and denominators. That is five is common. I have written that in denominator. So, children, the difference is three. Upon five. Our next question is subtraction six upon seven minus one upon seven. Children, to subtract what we will do? Our numerators are six and one. So six minus one. That we will write in numerator and denominator is common. That is seven, so that we will write in denominator. Six minus one will be five, so the answer is five upon seven. In the same way, we will solve the next question. Children, now tell me how we will solve. Yes, first we will write. Seven minus three. In denominator, we will write ten two times or ten plus ten. No, we will write ten only one time. Now seven minus three, four. And in denominator, we will write ten. Now tell me four and ten. They are coming in the table of Two, yes or no? Yes, they are coming in the table of two, so we can divide here. Two twos are four. Two fives are ten. Children, both the numbers should be should come in one table. So, two twos are four and two fives are ten. Our final answer is two upon five. children 
Now we will solve this word problem. Our word problem is 9 upon 10 of a wall is to be painted. Ramu has painted 4 upon 10 part of it. How much more needs to be painted? Children total wall is to be painted that is 9 upon 10. That I will write first. Ramu has painted 4 upon 10 of it. You all can see that these are the like fractions because denominators are equal. So 9 minus 4 upon 10. 9 minus 4 will be 5 upon 10. The final answer is 5 1s are 5, 5 2s are 10. So children, how much more needs to be painted? Yes, 1 upon 2 means half part needs to be painted. In words, we will write the final answer. Therefore, half part more needs to be painted. Students, I hope you all understood this question. We will see the next question. Here, your question is add. Children, see the questions. 1 upon 2 plus 2 upon 5. Check the denominators. Here, you all can see that the denominators are different. Here, 2 is there. And here 5 is there. So what we will do? While doing such addition questions, we have to equal the denominators. So children, which number is coming in the table of 2 and 5? Here the smallest common multiple of the two denominators is 10. Means 10. We will bring in the numer denominator. Multiply by 5. Multiply by 2. 2 5s are 10. 5 2s are 10. But children, whatever we will do for denominator, same thing we will do for numerator. So here we will multiply by 2. 2 2. So here also we will multiply by 5. Now, start multiplication. 5 1s are 5. 2 5s are 10. Plus 2 2s are 4. 5 2s are 10. Children, we changed the denominators of both the fractions to 10. So, now we can add 5 plus 4 upon 10. Children 5 plus 4 9 upon 10. So the final answer is 9 upon 10. Children we can convert such unlike fractions into like fractions and we can solve our question. We will see the next question. 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 20. Again, the denominators are different. Here 20 is there and here 4 is there. So, what we will do? We will equal both the denominators. So, children, now we will change the denominators. 3 upon 4 plus 1 upon 20. But children... Here this also we will change. No, because 20 is coming in the table of 4. So need, no need of doing anything here. This fraction will we will keep as it is. Okay children, we will do here multiplication. 4, 5 are 20. Same thing we will do for numerator. 
थ्री फाइज फिफ्टीन एंड इन डिनोमिनेटर फोर फाइज ट्वेंटी प्लस वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी नाव यू ऑल कैन चेक द डिनोमिनेटर्स आर इक्वल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सो वी कैन एड न्यूमरेटर्स फिफ्टीन प्लस वन अपॉन ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन प्लस वन दैट विल बी सिक्सटीन अपॉन ट्वेंटी children both the numbers are coming in the table of 4 4 4 za 16 4 is a 20 if the division is possible then we will do the division and we will find the final answer so the final answer is 4 upon 5 Here our next question is subtract. First problem is three upon ten minus one upon twenty. Check the denominators. Denominators are different. So our first step will be we will equal the denominators. Children, we can multiply here by two. So here we will get twenty. Ten two is a twenty, and here we are already having twenty, so we are not going to do anything here. Three upon ten minus one upon twenty. Multiply by two. Multiply by two. Three two is a six. Ten two is a twenty minus. One upon twenty. Children, you all can check that denominators are equal. So now we can do the subtraction. Six minus one will be five, and in denominator we will write twenty. Here the division is possible because five ones are five, five fours are twenty. So the final answer is one upon four. Students, for addition, for subtraction, denominators should be equal. If we are not having equal denominators, it means we are not having like fractions. For addition and subtraction, we have to convert them in like fractions, and then we can do addition and subtraction easily. students now tell me what we will do here here our question is 4 upon 6 and minus 3 upon 5 what will be the smallest common multiple of two denominators yes that is 30 because 30 is coming in the table of 6 also and in the table of 5 also 6 5 are 30 5 6 are 30 So, children, we shall change the denominator of both the fractions to thirty. Six fives are thirty. Five six are thirty. Same thing we will do for numerator. Four fives are twenty upon thirty. Minus three six a eighteen upon five six a thirty. Twenty minus eighteen upon in denominator we are having thirty. That we will write twenty minus eighteen will be two upon thirty. Children. We can divide two ones are two, two fifteen is a thirty because fifteen two is a thirty, na. So division is possible that we will do, and we will write the final answer. So the answer is one upon fifteen. Children, the answer of this is one upon fifteen.
students now we will see a fraction of a collection and a multiple of a fraction children here collection of dots are there total 15 dots are there one third of a collection of 15 dots children means we have to find here one third of 15 dots for this we will do one third of 15 in the place of 15 we will put multiplication sign and we will write 15 3 ones are 3 3 fives are 15 so now in denominator we are having 1 multiply by 5 and in denominator we are having 1 in numerator what we got 1 multiply by 5 and in denominator we are having 1. So the final answer is 5 ones are 5. So the one third of a collection of 15 dots is 5. One third of 15 dots is 5. One third of 15 dots is 5. Here 20 dots are there. 3 fourth of a collection of 20 dots. 3 fourth we have to find. So 3 upon 4 multiply by 20. 4 ones are 4. 4 fives are 20. So children in denominator 3 into 5 is there. And in denominator 1 is there. 3 fives are 15 and in denominator 1 is there. So final answer is 15. 3 fourth of a collection of 20 dots is 15. Okay students. It means we can find the fraction of collection also. Twice 5 is 10. Children, what do you mean by twice? Twice means 2. Twice means 2. Means 2 into 5 is 10. 2 fives are 10. Because here we are having 2 rows. And in one row we are having 5 balls. So, in the same way 5 twos are also 10. So, twice 5 is 10. 10. Two rows are there and in one row five balls are there. So two fives are ten. What is next children? Here fifteen balls are there. One third times fifteen. One third times fifteen. So one third multiply by fifteen. Three ones are three. 3 fives are 15. So now 5 ones are 5 and in denominator we are having 1. So 5 ones are 1. Final answer. Yes, the final answer is 5. So 1 third times 15 is 5. Now we will do the same questions. What is one third of 15 pencils? We have to find one third of 15 pencils. We will follow the same method. One third. In the place of 15 we will put multiplication sign. And we will multiply by 15. One third of 15. So 1 upon 3 multiply by 15. 3 1s are 3, 3 5s are 15. 1 into 5 and in denominator 1 is there. 5 1s are 5, denominator 1 is there. Final answer is 1. So children what is 1 third of 15 pencils? That is 5. 
See the next question. Here our question is what is 1 upon 5 means 1 fifth of 30 kilometer. 1 fifth of 30 kilometer. Okay. 30 is in the numerator and 5 is in the denominator. So, can, so we can divide 5 ones are 5, 5 6 are 30. So, 1 multiply by 6 and in denominator 1 we will write children 6 ones are 6. In denominator 1 is there. Final answer is 6. What is one fifth of thirty kilometer? Yes, one fifth of thirty kilometer is six. Students, here you all can see that three circles are there. Half of each of the three circles is colored. That is, three parts each equal to half of the circle. Are colored means here half part is colored, here half part is colored, and here half part is colored. Children, we will see mixed fractions. So first, one upon two plus one upon two plus one upon two. So three upon two we will get. But students. Half and half will make one circle, one circle and this remaining half, okay. Here we will read this as 1 and 1 upon 2 because half and half will make 1 and this half part. So complete part I have written here and the fraction I have written here. Here 1 is the integer part. And half is the fraction part. 1 is the integer part and half is the fraction part. This one we will write in middle. In between we will write. Okay. So 1 is the integer part and half is the fraction part. Students, such fractions are called mixed fractions or mixed numbers. This is the mixed fraction. Here, 5 and 3 upon 4. We will read 5 and 3 upon 4. So, children, 5 is the five is the integer part. And 3 upon 4 is the fraction part. Here also 5 is the integer part. 3 upon 2 is the fraction part. 4 is the integer part. 1 upon 4 is the fraction part. 3 is the integer part. 2 upon 5 is the fraction part. 7 is the integer part. 4 upon 9 is the fraction part. So children, such fractions are called mixed fractions or mixed numbers. Students, fractions in which the numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fractions. Children, here we will compare 4 is numerator and 3 is denominator. 4 is greater than 3 means 4 is greater than the denominator. So this is improper fraction. Here also numerator is greater than the denominator. Here also numerator is greater than the denominator. Here 6 is there in the numerator but 6 is greater than 3. So children, these are all improper fractions.
these are all improper fractions fractions in which the numerator is greater than the denominator are called improper fractions children we can convert improper fractions into mixed fractions how we will convert that will i will show you here 3 is greater than 2 means numerator is greater than the denominator this is improper fraction we can convert this into mixed fraction children for this we we are going to use denominator that i have written how much more we will add to make one uh, to make 3 yes we will add 1 so that will be 3 and here 2 we will write as it is now we will separate 2 upon 2 plus 1 upon 2 i have separated 2 upon 2 here and 1 upon 2 here 2 ones are 2 2 ones are 2 so children 1 plus 1 upon 2. So how we will write 1 plus 1 upon 2. Students, I hope you all understood this. What we have to do? We will use the denominator and we will convert improper fractions into mixed fractions. Children, I have first I will write 4. After that, children, 4 I have will write in numerator also. To make 5, what we will add here? 1, 2, 3. Yes, we will add here 1. So now we will separate. Okay, students. Now, four ones are four. Four ones are four. So, one plus one upon four. So, students, one. Is the integer part. And one upon four is the fraction part. Students, I hope you all understood the lesson well. Thank you.